Hi, it's Dr. Steve Weiner from Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, a facial plastic surgeon. And what I'd like to talk to you about is radius and sodium thiosulfate. Now, everyone says on the internet that, oh, if you have a problem with uh, radius, just use sodium thiosulfate, just like hyaluronidase for hyaluronic acid. So I wanted to test that theory, and you'll be surprised at what I found. Let's first talk about what STS or sodium thiosulfate is approved for. It's approved for acute cyanide poisoning, and it's also to prevent ototoxicity in patients receiving cisplatin, which is a chemotherapy agent. So what is STS used off-label? Well, STS is a strong chelating agent with antioxidant properties. And you'll see in, in this area here that it's used for ectopic calcium deposits. Calcium deposits that are throughout the body, you can give STS, and apparently it decreases the amount of deposits they have. So where does this STS treatment for calcium reduxiapatite originate? Well, it originates from Dr. Robinson, uh, who suggested it as a possible treatment for complications from radiates. She actually applied for a patent in 2016 for this treatment. So she did a study in 2018 on animals, and she treated uh, calcium reduxiapatite in animals with STS, as well as a topical. And she found that when treating with STS and the topical, you got clearance of the radius, and just the topical, you didn't get much clearance. So there's some case reports regarding treating calcium hydroxyapatite with STS. One is an abdominoplasty patients where two patients were treated successfully with STS. Dr. Robinson also did another case report of treating in a patient. And Dr. Schelke says that she has treated some calcium hydroxyapatite vascular occlusions with STS. So what do I hear from people that have used it? There's minimal side effects except for burning that lasts for a few minutes. I've been also advised not to use lidocaine because it can change the pH which can affect the activity of STS. Um, you should use small volumes like 0.1 mLs per square centimeter. It's also called experimental and I've also heard that it's mainly a dispersal agent. Dispersal agent means that it kind of disperses the product, kind of spreads it out, but doesn't dissolve it that much. So what other treatments are recommended if you have a nodule from radius? Well, this is tried and true. It's saline massage using a needle and a cannula. You put a large wad of saline as mixed with lidocaine, golf ball size, into the area that you have this nodule. And you do heavy massage as well as degrade it mechanically with the needle and the cannula. That seems to disperse it as well. So what I'm now gonna show you is my experiment using STS on radius. So now I'm gonna do a small experiment to see if STS actually dissolves radius. So in this image, you're seeing radius be injected under ultrasound guidance into a chicken breast using a cannula. And I do multiple passes of the radius to get it in different levels. And now I'm taking STS on a cannula as well, and I'm injecting it into the previous place radius. In the next video, I'm showing saline injected into the radius, and it actually shows a very similar dispersion pattern. In the next images, I'm going to show you what the dispersion of the product looks like. So basically, the product is spread more thinly throughout the tissues. So now I'm going to do a similar experiment, but outside the chicken breast, directly onto the radius using saline and STS. And as you can see, there is minimal changes to the product after five minutes. So in conclusion to my experiment, I found that STS did not dissolve the radius very well. And it's more of a dispersal agent. It is nowhere close to what hyaluronidase is to a hyaluronic acid filler. Thank you.